Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the gallery room. And those are my colors over there. And I'm going to put them in that cream pitcher in a layered ring pour style. And then I'm going to decide at that point in time what I might want to do. So I'm going to start with my favorite folk art neon purple multi-surface. and continue to add white in between. I've made up some new blue by adding whatever blue I had and mixing some Anita's white metallic and some Sargent's white pearl in there. I might not, whoops, I might want to make sure I mix those. I don't think when I did this the last time, I didn't mention that, that I'm sort of copying an old recipe. I am looking for that purple flash right there, which is not coming out and evidently is almost ready to have some more, come on, have some more made up. I want to put a little bit of white enamel in, and it's a semi-gloss. Just because having a little acrylic enamel in there makes everything, sort of changes the constitution of things. Make sure my orange is open. Yeah, I'm not going to overdose myself on the orange. And the, that orangey yellow color is I call Velveeta is a color I made up. I want some... I'm not going to put quite as many layers of white in between because I really want what I've got. And if I keep putting white in between, I'm not going to have enough room for all my colors. But I do have a 20 by 24 inch canvas. And that might be pretty big for what I've got in mind. I'm going to put some white Anita's metallic in there too. And I want a little bit of Prussian blue. And I am going to fill up my cup because a 20 by 24 inch canvas is pretty, pretty big. So what do I like? I've got, I'm going to use my magenta with the iridescent pearl meat fine in it by Golden. I don't think I used the yellow I wanted. So I'm going to do that. And that's going to come out first and be last. We'll see how this goes. I think I'm going to do both my Velveeta color and my lemony yellow. I'm going to try and move most of these things away and hope that I got enough of everything that I wanted. Oh, there's the magenta. Ah, maybe just a little bit more at the tail end, huh? So I think, there for you, I think I am going to add some white paint to this. Is there a stretcher bar? Yes, there is. Something else has already been on there. So let's grab the white paint in the big bottle. Do I have one? Yes, I do, yay. So I'm gonna start by pulling that thing off of there. And I'm gonna add a layer of white paint to the whole canvas because I can, because that will help facilitate the movement of other paint. This is a really large canvas, but this is probably the world's greatest paint spreading tool that I know of anyway. Available on my Amazon link, which is available on the link tree, the first blue link under the video. And I want to thank everybody who shops my Amazon link, because uh, lately it's been kind of horrible, but I know some of you are really still trying to help me out, and I appreciate that. So I'm just going to spread that out. And I know, usually I would think I added too much of this paint, but the, tr the truth is, right at the moment, I need a nice layer of paint. And that's the really nice thing. If I grab this spatula, I get a nice heavy layer traveling right on top of the blade. Now, I'm going to do a combination of a ring pour style, which is just, yeah, I don't know what, that looks like something that shouldn't be there. There goes my OCD again. 
I'm almost done. I want to do a wandering, waggling, overlapping ribbon pour and a ring pour. And I might start, depending on how I see the colors coming out, I might do a few rings. And I'm going to start in the center because I really want to tip this all over the place. I'd like to keep some negative space, some white paint. I think that's enough. I haven't done my edges, but I expect to want to hold on to them anyway. Where's my paint? There we go. So let's just do as one. There's two. I kind of want to tip this first this time and see how it starts. I also feel like I want to add some more magenta right now. And I wish I had some gold in there, but I guess I really don't need it. That's a lot of white I'm seeing. I kind of wish I'd added some turquoise, but that wasn't part of this process. But maybe it's going to become part of this process now. I think I want a little turquoise. I'm just going to throw it right down the middle. Definitely want some more yellow and some Anita's metallic. I will use in between that. Let's grab some more yellow and some orange and some lighter yellow. Just throw those right in there. And if I want more colors, I will add them. And do I? I might. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my bottles out of the way. I kind of like what I've got already. I want more blue. I know I want more blue. So I didn't use any of this purple. And I'm going to do what I did and go right down the middle again. And I'm going to do the same thing with... No, I'm not. <laughs> it's not open. I'm going to use... No, I'm not going to use that blue again. What am I going to use? Okay, there's the Prussian blue. And I'm going to use just a drop of that little blue, little bit of blue I just used. Yeah, I wanted some darker, darker color there. I like the orange. This is going to change a lot. I'm still wanting more of that magenta. I'm going to use some of the stuff with the iridescent pearl fine in it by Golden and the regular magenta. Am I going to put something in between? I'm going to give myself permission to put a little more of that white semi-gloss. And that is from Decor Americana. And there's my straight up magenta, which may actually have some of the color added in there. Come on, you guys, stay back. Now, I'm not so sure, really? I'm not so sure about this, so I'm going to put another ring pour right in the middle. And I like that better. I'm going to leave enough paint in this cup, so if I decide... Am I? <laughs> I was going to say, so if I decide that I want to add more, I can, but I probably will anyway. Now I grabbed a tray and I covered it with cling wrap. Those are snowmen, not mold. Um, which was why I made it into the studio as opposed to staying in the kitchen. Because everything I wrapped in it looked like it was moldy. I didn't like it. So let's get all of the extra bottles out of my way as best I can so I can tip. I believe I have an edge catcher here somewhere. There's a little one. I know there's a bigger one right over here. Mm, that's not it, but there are more. And I will be back. 
they're all short. Never mind. All right, what I'm going to do is what I have been doing recently, which is to tip. Excuse me, to torch before I tip. That way we can release whatever bubbles and maybe promote some kind of cells. I'm really inclined as I look at this to go, I really like turquoise. And sometimes it's a good time to experiment when you feel like it. So if I put some dots in there, if they don't survive, they don't survive. If they do, it might be pretty cool. Chances are not good. I'll, I'll say that now. I'd really like to be able to stretch the magenta out. Now if I want to tip into that, oh, I can hang onto my stretcher bar, which I really like the idea of. go over here. I really wanted to keep some negative space on either corner, but I'm really actually more interested in seeing how far my colors will go. So I'm watching the wave and the mass of paint. I just found something unexpected in my way. Yeah, okay. Trying to pay attention. Yeah, everything gets in the way. 20 by 24 is really big. I'll let that all come right down here to the best of my ability. So far, no edge catcher. I don't know how to handle this though. I'm like juggling. There we go. We got a little bit of paint coming off. I'm just going to help encourage that right here. Whatever paint goes in my dish, and I don't want much of it to be wasted, can then be scooped up with my spatula and put down on the canvas again. I'd like that not to drip on me. I do want that to go all the way over there without losing much more of it. There we go. I'll tip that back again, try and get the stretch those stripes out. This is really big <laughs> for me. Let's just use the finger along the edge and stop the paint that's flowing off from doing so. This is going to be cool, I think. I see that thing that does not belong and I put my tweezers right there. I'm going to dip my tweezers in the, the neon pink I really just want to use this paint on here and flow everything from there down. So let's do that. Let's just grab all this paint and put it right on the canvas. And anything that turns brown could go on my Lilify silicone mat. And that's two spatulas in the bucket. Try and remember to use the stretcher bar. I'm going to tip this the wrong way first so I can fill in. And then send it right back down again. Maybe this with it. Yep, I like that. Going right over. This is going to be cool, like pretty sure. I'm excited. A little more won't hurt me. If I have some more paint in that pan, I can use it to fill in right up here if I need to in a moment. I don't think I need much. I think I'm almost good. This has a lot of the flavor of the one I was trying to emulate. It has more blue, but that's okay. I'm loving my colors. Let's grab one more spatula full and put that right here. Let's pick and choose what we get to. All right, I still maintain some orange. Do I want to use any more of this? I really don't. It's very pretty, and if it dried, it'd make an awesome skin. I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> Looks like a splish splash. And if I stick those tweezers in right now, it's going to be a pink one. Oh, come on. I can't believe I didn't even use an edge catcher. That's amazing. 
I want that little shard of pink off of those tweezers right now. I have no bugs inside. And the flow trowel and the paint should really help level everything out nicely. I don't know what that was either. But uh, it's time to torch and tell you guys I do sell my artwork. And if you're looking for the link for that, it's the email address below, directly below the, um, the Linktree link. That's the first blue link under the video where you can also find the Amazon link that helps you shop at no added cost to you and helps me out. And I really appreciate that when you guys do that so much. Definitely time to torch. Loving the feeling of this really, <laughs> really a lot. I want to thank you guys for joining me. If I need to touch up around my edges, I will do that at some other point in time. Still a little paint right there. Really inclined to want to put a little tiny, tiny drop of paint right there that I expect to spread out and disappear. Oh, I should tell you guys, I went through five butane torches, and this is my art resin torch head, which is really easy on, easy, easy off. It's about 50 bucks, but it's lasted me two years, and I haven't, and, and one tank of gas lasts me about six months. It may look a little scary, but it's such a better alternative to butane. I used to go through a can of butane every few days, and like I said, five torches, and they would always plug up on me, so it was never easy. So I love you guys, and I got two minutes to tell you guys whatever else I'm going to tell you. And that is, I appreciate your thumbs up very much. Thank you so much for giving them to me. If you watch the videos when they come out on your notifications, you help my placement on YouTube, and I get more attention by you doing that, and, I, and it's been working. Thank you for binging. You know who you are. <laughs> I'm a crazy woman. Love you very much. Um, if you share my videos, you help me out. If you want to find my videos on my channel, you can go to all playlists and created playlists and find over 1,500 uh, arranged by genre and by topic and by the hundred. Uh, underneath my link tree, you can find my Pinterest, in Instagram, and Twitter links. And on my Pinterest, that's where I post new art when it's new. I'm going to blow this out. Really, part of me wants to drag little tendrils out and, and put little edges on that are... I'm going to take the paint off my... It's dripping down, though. I am going to do that. Why waste it? Just cover my edge. So, what did, what did I forget to tell you guys? Uh, Facebook groups, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expression to Start Studio Gallery... Fans and collectors, expression to start studio gallery totes and more are all, are all available on the, on the link, under the link tree. Yeah, I'm just dipping into my little cup, giving myself another little tiny shot of purple right there, which does not hurt my feelings a bit. So what should I tell you guys? Uh, fans, and, oh, fans and collectors Facebook group has pictures of the YouTube artworks edited in albums. Uh, Totes and More has Facebook, excuse me, has FindingAmericanPixels.com products. Uh, the Amazon link will share with you my books, Volume 1 and 2, because I can, and Unlimited Possibilities, both. And I'm reading my crib sheet from across here, and I left paint bottles in the way, so I'm really sorry about that. Under the video, you'll find my pour, paint pouring recipe. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask me. Look for the exhibition video on the end screen of any video. If you are a contributor to the studio to help keep me making videos through PayPal or Patreon, the links are on my channel header and under the link tree. You will automatically be entered in the monthly drawing and you can see the prizes for that drawing on that end screen video of, of that month's exhibition. So I'm just about gone and that was a tremendous success in my opinion. It gave me everything I wanted and then some and uh, proved to me that I can still do this <laughs> in this way. I'm going to steal that paint, put it right there because I can. All right, you guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I love you very much, and I will see you anon. I hope you can see all of that. You can, yay! I love it when a plan comes together. Got what I wanted. I like that too. I know you gotta, you gotta like that also. Now it's level and it won't drip off the wrong side. All right, I will see you guys, 
And uh, let's see, tomorrow's video is on community boards.